This is AutoCAD tutorial number 13. Over here we are going to learn how to make orthographic views. We are going to use reference lines that you see over here. Some of the tools that we will use is line, dimension, object snap, circles, uh, polar tracking, then center line, hidden line. We have to make these two layers. And then we the reference layer already comes with this template so again the template that we use for this tutorial is tutorial IMFG okay so once I'm done with this tutorial we will be making an isometric view of the same object in AutoCAD so uh, look for the next tutorial after this one so you can learn how to make isometric t uh, isometric drawings using AutoCAD so let's start with this drawing I am going to move this out of the way and uh, let's start working with the object so the first thing I am going to do is make this uh, uh, make the front view this is the top view and this is the side view so now there are a lot of lines going on it's getting a little confusing so I will just turn uh, my layer off I will turn the reference layer I'll freeze it off okay so now the drawing looks more cleaner now you know what's going on once we start drawing something then I'm going to start putting the reference lines now it's up to you if you want to use reference lines but as far as you can visualize the object then you are good without even reference lines but if you're a beginner then it's always a good idea to use the reference lines. so starting with the front view which is pretty much this is what you see over here this part I'll go and start so the first thing I will be doing is making sure that I go to the model front layer which is the one that you see out here so starting with the outline I start with a line and I make a line going 3.25 enter I'll be going up 0.5 enter then I will go back on this side and continue I'll make a line enter starting from here I'm going up 1.75 enter then I move to the right with a distance of 0.5 enter then going down how much one enter then going this way let's see how much is that way is total is two so this should be one enter going up the same height as this and then going 0.5 enter and then going down how much I'm going down if you look over here it's 1.25 1.25 enter and I end my front view now there are a couple more things that I need to do in the front view is first of all I need to put my hidden lines so I'll go in the hidden line layer and the hidden line is 0.75 from the top which is this line so I offset 0.75 from the top going down from the top going down I make sure that I put it on to the hidden line layer okay so that's done now the next thing I have to do is put the location for the circle now the location of the circle from the center is 3.25 which is right here and the circle goes all the way to a distance of 1.25 so this is the center line that I have so I'm going to offset 1.25 for my circle and I will take this put it onto my center line layer okay now what happens is this is the middle this is the middle of the circle right this is the center but the circle has a diameter of 1 
So what I could do from the middle, I could offset it 0.5 this way and that way. Now again, these are the hidden lines that I don't see, so that's why I will put it onto the hidden line layer. Now my object is nearly done. All I have to do is take those grips and extend and snap it in the right place. Okay, so that's my front view. I could always take my center line and make it go out a little bit. So the front view is done. Now the next is going to be the top view. For top view, first thing I will do is start with my reference. So I'll turn the reference on, as in I will unfreeze it. Reference, unfreeze, okay? And by using my reference layer, I will just draw these straight lines or guidelines that will show me where everything falls in the top view. So I will just draw these really quick. So I get all my guides. I get the location of the circle, which is that one. And I'm pretty much done with that. I'm just going to go to the top view, model top, and that's where I start drawing. So I start somewhere over here. It doesn't matter where you start. And then I know this is my center of the circle, so I can stop right here. I'll give an offset of 0.25 for the width. Offset 0.25. Enter. Click and offset in that direction. Oh, sorry, the offset was 2.5. So offset 2.5. Enter. I give my offset. Then from here, these are the things that are popping out, so I'll just make them draw my straight lines. Enter, enter, line, line, okay. Then this thing is at, an, uh, at a distance of 0.5, so I'll offset that as well. O, 0.5, enter set it on this side, offset it on that side. Now the next thing I need to do is basically trim these parts out, right? If you look into your 3D, you see there's nothing over there. So I have to trim that out. To trim it out, I use the TR command, enter, and I trim out that line and this line, okay? So now it's forming shape. I'll take that and put it back take that and put it back now the last thing to do is draw the circle and draw this uh, curved circle right so I start from the center for making the big circle so I have to pick the center point and my center should be right there if I cannot find it I'll just draw a line which I will delete in a bit I'll draw the circle uh, the big circle from the center to the end okay so this is done I'll draw another circle from the center till diameter enter one enter okay now the next thing to do would be trim the big circle enter and the trimming is done do I need that line anymore? I don't. So I can either delete it or I can match attributes, MA, take the center line and make that as a center line. I need another one going this way. And again, that is my center line. So I will match attributes again, MA. Every time you put in a hole, the hole always has to have a center line. Okay. So that's already done with now the last part that's remaining is the right side view now the good thing about working with reference lines is right now most of my job is already done all I need to do is take these lines drop them down and match them with my front view now let's see how we go about it 
first thing I'm going to do is go to the reference layer I will just draw my reference lines and there's no particular distance for this it's just approximate I'll make sure that I have a line going from here at an angle of 45 so I can go back here right click turn the 45 on and there you go so I have that line now the next thing to do is just project all my lines onto the 45 angle line and then drop them down okay for example I got the uh, the outside shape and I'm just projecting it down okay and I will project these lines again which is the outside and project it there project this line okay at least the line that we see right now I'm projecting I can even project that one because that's what we're gonna see from the side view okay later on I can project for the circle but at least I know my object would fit from here to here which is from here till here okay so I'll start with the base before I do that I go to the model right side make that layer current now I can draw a rectangle that fits right there then I can use my line tool to go follow my uh, follow my outline now how far does it go I know it goes 0.5 so I go 0.5 I have to make sure it's straight so I go 0.5 then I'm going down how far I'm going down up till here then from here again if you look I'm going 1.5 1.5 enter I go up I go there I go back down now I could get even this distance right from here by projecting that line as a reference and making that go down you see it matches perfect so it makes life a lot more easier where you don't need to do any calculation if you are using the reference lines so that's pretty much done with now I hope you understood how to use the reference line so I'm going to just go back and freeze that layer okay so the only thing we ha we are left is with the location of the circle and that hidden line that hidden line is basically this line so I can draw a line from here to get where it lands I could trim it out and then change that layer to the hidden layer now one more thing that's left is this circle I know the circle is right in the center okay I'll offset this 0.5 because the small circle diameter is 1 so I offset this 0.5 next thing I can do is match attributes again because these need to be on the hidden layer MA click on that one click click again MA center line and click and click center line always make it go out so it looks like uh, a center line not like an object line and pretty much that's done with this tutorial all I am left to do is work with the dimensions and start putting in the dimensions using my uh, dimensions and using my dimension layer now once I get done with this tutorial I have to make sure I'm on the dimension layer which I am but for some reason the dimension is not coming out right okay maybe it was just a glitch but I can go in here and start putting my dimensions I'll put my dimensions okay you could put the dimensions just like the one that you see here but I hope you understood how this tutorial works it's a pretty lengthy tutorial but still uh, I couldn't complete it you know all the way up to the end but I'm pretty sure you could go ahead and and work it out okay so the next tutorial that I would be doing is working with uh, making this object in isometric view where we're going to use a few new commands that I have not taught before so make sure that you go to the next tutorial and follow from there
Okay, again, this is your tutor Ali. I hope to see you soon. Thank you.